Good morning, everybody. I decided to make a little video because I'm sure you guys are really, really eager to go to the beach and collect magnetite now that you've seen how much fun my Grace and Lily and I had at the beach. And I wanted to show you, though, we had a problem. We collected all this black sand with our magnets. We took these magnets about the size of a domino to the beach, moved it around in the sand, and it would get up kinds of black stuff on it, which we would then scrape into a baggie. And it appeared to be all magnetite. It looked like it was all black, black sand. So we came home with this nice baggie full of magnetite, or so we thought. And Grandma decided to make a willy, woolly, woolly, willy, whatever the name of that thing was we had when we were little kids. It was a clear plastic thing, inside of which was a picture of a bald-headed guy and you would take a magnet and you would drag the black magnetite onto the bald-headed guy. Maybe you'd give him a mustache, maybe you'd give him a beard. It was called, was it called Willy Wooly or Wooly Wooly? I don't even know. Neither one sounds really right, if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, we decided to, to make one of our own, or I decided it would be fun. And the girls, I'm not sure if they thought it was that much fun or not, but I thought it was fun. Anyway, we collected all of our black sand. We thought it was black sand. We, I made this, this, this thing. I took some plexiglass, and I have actually two layers of plexiglass here with a little bit of mat board glued in between the two to, to keep them airspace in between and put them both in this frame. But before I glued them together, I put our black sand into it. We thought it was all black sand. I mean, you would have thought so when we put it in there because it all was all one color. But, but as you notice now, it's a bunch of different colors, and that's because I've been playing with it. But also because, alas and alack, there was a lot of regular old sand in our magnetite. We didn't know that because it got picked up by the magnet. I don't know why. I think because magnets can also, magnetite can pass its powers on to what's near it for a while. Like that sand could be magnetized temporarily get picked up, get taken home by me, and it's really just sand. It's not really magnetite. So anyway, sorry for the reflection of the of the light over my head here. So this was a fail. Willy, 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 willy was a fail because, alas and alack, we have, we have sand mixed in with our magnetite. Bummer. Bad experiment. But not to worry because we have YouTube. Grandma went on YouTube and saw some ways to separate, or actually to pick up magnetite, and thought I would apply it to our problem. We had a bag like this of what we thought, this has all been mostly cleaned out now, but it was black. A baggie full of black sand. And that's what went in here. But now look, it's not black sand, it's black sand and it's regular sand both. So, here's the solution we found, thanks to YouTube, to create... Two bags. One bag that is just sand, and one bag that I hope is just magnetite. I'm pretty sure it is. But see, look at the difference there. These were all together. They all looked like black sand, all mixed in together. But really, there was a lot of beach sand in there. And here's the technique. You take, take a container, like I took a, a, a pill bottle. And inside the pill bottle, I drilled a hole. I used a, a metal skewer. I got it hot on the stove, on the gas stove, and then I just kind of melted a hole, but you could drill the hole if you wanted. And inside the hole, I put a carriage bolt. And on the carriage bolt, da -da -da -da, there are a couple of magnets. I'm not going to be able to get this out until I put you down a minute. Hang on. Okay, so inside... The carriage bolt has a couple of magnets. You can buy these at Lowe's or someplace. I just stuck a couple magnets on there. They're down at the bottom. It would be a good idea probably to put some glue in there so they always stay down at the bottom and don't come sliding up to the top. And you put this here in the bottle. Mine is a kind of a tight fit. A looser fit would be good. If I had a little bit smaller magnets, that would be fine. But the big magnets that just fit are really nice. Okay, so now when that's dropped down, I'm going to actually screw this on here so that you can get the full effect. Hang on. Hang on. Ah, 
pill bottles. Okay, so now we have the pill bottle. Oh my gosh, look what's happened already. It's found its friends. This pill bottle has a magnet in it that will pick up magnetite. And as soon as I pull up on this rod, the magnetite is going to fall off. So I can collect beach sand at the beach. And I can lift up the bottle with the magnetite attached to it. And I can hold it over my baggie and I can pull up on this thing and it's going to fall into the baggie. And theoretically, it's going to have nothing but magnetite on it. Because it's just, for whatever reason, it just likes to pick up the black sand and it likes to leave the sand sand behind. Here is the proof, because here, these two baggies used to be one baggie. Uh-oh, uh it looks like this baggie might have a little, little bit of a hole. I hope not. Anyway, you see these two baggies? They were, earlier this morning, one baggie that looked like black sand. Looked like the whole thing was black sand. And now we have magnetite. We have beach sand, two separate products. This is the product we wanted. We don't want that. Yuck, bad. Good. Willy, 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 willy. You can have it going on, mister, because you are going to be fixed. And this sand issue is not going to be a problem anymore because it ain't going to be there. So that's my video to show you how to do it. Oh, let me just prove this to you. You see this? Watch what happens. I'm going to open this baggie. I'm going to put my, my, my contraption in here. Watch what happens. It's so cool. So now the magnet's down at the bottom, right? I stick it in here. And, oh my goodness, look at what happens. Look what's on there. You see all that, you see all that magnet thing on there? Can you see it? I'm trying to get some more. I'm trying to get a lot. You see that magnet, magnet thing on there? Now all I have to do to get it to fall off is pull up on this rod. Because it's, because it's, it's gonna. I hope I don't spill this all over my kitchen counter. Watch, watch what happens. One, two, three, go. Da 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 da. Oops. <laughs> There's where the magnet is at the moment. See that? The line. As I pull it up, I pull it up fast. I can get it all to fall off. But that's the deal. You can see. Look at. Watch the magnet. Watch the. Watch the magnet type move up and down on there. It's pretty funny, really. Pretty cool. See it? Look at. There's the magnet. See it moving on there? So now we have a great tool, apparently, because I have more than one grandchild, I'll probably have to find more than one pill bottle and get more carriage bolts and more magnets for our next trip to the beach. But now we're going to have it going on, guys. We're not going to have this problem. Oops, look at the magnets sticking to the... <laughs> oh, this is what some people do at 6.30 in the morning. Other people stay in bed. So, hope you're enjoying your Tuesday, and I hope you get a kick out of my video. This is what retired people do. They do stuff like this, and and they think it's fun. So I'll, I'll get back to you on the willy, 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 willy thing. Diane.